Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Maximum X Gamer. I've made this video in support of my previous unboxing video of the PVR Gaming Edition, which I did a couple of months back. I did promise to do a follow up setup video, so this is it. The thing that makes this HD PVR different from the previous release is the component cables that come with the device. The first cable is compatible with all three consoles, PS3, Xbox 360 and the Wii. Then you have the USB cable which connects your device to the PC. And finally you have the second component cable which is quite heavy duty, shielded and it's designed to go between your TV and the device. I'm starting with the component cables for the consoles. Now you just have to remember that two of the linings are audio and the other three are for the pictures although the cable itself doesn't have anything marked on it what you got to remember is the console wires always go into the box in the line in section so if you remember you need the left audio and the right audio the audio goes in first then you've got the green blue and red so it's although the cables aren't marked but it's it's quite obvious and quite straightforward So the other cables that came in the box were these heavy set component cables that were part of the original PBR release. Once again are shipped with the gaming edition. Now these cables are very good quality. They have gold plated ends. Uh, they're normally stuck together so you can separate them as and when you need it. And they go into the out section. So where the image goes in from the PlayStation, the image will come out and that will go into the back of your TV and just like before you have the two audios the red on the left one on the right and then you've got the three picture inputs One thing you have to remember in the initial setup you have to be connected via HDMI in order to change the settings on the PS3. Once the settings take effect then you don't need the HDMI. Firstly go into the PS3 menu and go to the display settings. In the display settings choose video output settings which gives you four options. The HDMI component D terminal, the composite S video and the AV multi SCART. The one you're interested in is the component, the D terminal. That's the one you need to choose. Once you choose this, you have the option of setting what HD output you want to display. You will only need 720p. However, you can play at 1080i, so it's well worth ticking. Once you have set this as your preferred choice, you will lose your picture. Turn over to the component channel and it should be showing a screen asking you to accept these options. Press yes. Changing your sound is another thing you will need to do. Now, you could do this before you change the visual settings, but that's your choice. Under the settings menu, go to sound setting, choose audio output. Here you will have three options, HDMI, optical, digital, and audio input output via the SCART or AV Multi. That's the option you need to choose.
The PVR also comes with a software disk which you need to load onto your PC. What this actually does is load the capturing device which you need to run from your computer once you've connected it via USB. Once you open the program, click on the capture tab and it opens up another dialog box. Now the settings inside the dialog box takes into account PlayStation, AVC, HD and Xbox 360. In editing, PlayStation 3 setting was the best and so that's the one I use. Once the image does show through the capturing device you will notice that the capturing device itself emanates a voice so because you've got the volume up on the TV you normally can hear it twice and there is a slight lag in the playback footage so you need to mute the volume in the on your computer or PC. Now once you've done that then you can click on the capturing device and it's normally on the left hand side just under the image and once you click on it the PVR box emanates a green light which illustrates that it's recording or should I say capturing the footage playing in the capturing device. Alright guys, so I hope you liked this video. If you've got any questions, please let me know. This is Maximum Max Game and I'm signing out.